Hello and thanks for purchasing the LDG Electronics Z817H. The Z817H is designed specifically for use with the Yaesu FT817 QRP radio, but will also work with other QRP radios and external amplifiers up to 75 watts. This video series will help you get the most out of your Z817H, and it is a supplement to the information contained in the Z817H Owner's Manual. In part 2 of this video series, we look at how to install and use the Z817H if you are using it with an amplifier and QRP radio that is not an FT817. The Z817H does not ship with any batteries, so first you need to install four AA batteries. See part 1 of this video series for more help with that. To begin installation, first turn off your QRP transceiver. In order to clearly show installation, first we'll place the Z817H on top of our QRP rig. On top of the Z817H, we'll place an external amplifier. Now we begin installation. Connect one end of a coaxial cable jumper to the antenna jack on the back of the QRP radio. Connect the other end of the cable to the TX jack on the rear of the amplifier. Now connect a second coax jumper from the antenna jack on the amplifier to the TX jack on the rear of the Z817H tuner. Connect your antenna's coax feed line to the antenna jack on the rear of the Z817H. LDG recommends that you connect the Z817H to your station ground using the wing nut provided marked ground shown here. We're now ready to begin using the Z817H. Turn on your radio and set your amplifier up according to its instruction manual. You may want to bypass the amplifier during tuning. Now, press and hold the Tune button on the Z817H until the red status light lights up, then let go. Now begin transmitting a continuous carrier with your radio, and continue transmitting until the tuning cycle completes. When tuning is complete, unbypass your amplifier, set your radio to the desired operating mode, and that's it! You're ready to transmit! CQ, CQ.